Hey Gemini, welcome to Tenacious Soul. My name is Johanna. Uh, I'm going to be doing your monthly reading for November 2020. Uh, we're going to look at general messages so this may or may not resonate with you. So you feel free to check out your sun, your moon, or your rising sign. Uh, they will be general messages, so we'll just be kind of be looking at whatever the cards bring through. So whether that's love, money, um, relationships, just random messages for your spiritual path, whatever kind of comes through. Um, so again, might not resonate with everybody. So if not, feel free to check out your other signs. Okay. So let's kind of dive into it here. All right. What do we have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising for November, 2020. Gemini, November 2020. Okay, so we have acceptance. We have envy, and we have balance. It's interesting because like acceptance and envy are kind of different, like they're the opposites of each other, right? In a way. Um, and so I feel like you're finally bringing yourself into balance where you're doing both of these things. Um, you know, it's like you've, you've balanced yourself out. Let's see what other messages come through here. Here we have for Gemini, November 2020. So we have a time to give rather than take. So that's with acceptance. We have uh, envy, look at the bigger picture. And then we have time to breathe, take time to breathe out with balance. Okay, let's see what we got here. So we have acceptance. I'm learning to accept things I cannot change with a time to give rather than to take. Um, I feel like there's something you need to accept in a situation here, uh, whether it's a person or like, again, a situation, something that's going on, um, where you just have to kind of like let things flow. Um, and I feel like that's kind of like you giving to the situation a little bit. Uh, letting things flow, right? With, if you're trying to take, you're not always accepting things for the way they are because you, you want it the way you want it, if that makes any sense. Um, so again, just like there's something that you need to kind of be in more balance with, kind of ground your energy. Then we have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges and look at the big picture. So I feel like you're possibly... There's something you need to look at from a wider lens that allows you to see the whole picture because um, sometimes we're jealous of people but we don't really see what they're actually going through. They may maybe look like they have it all together uh, and a lot of times they don't. Um, so sometimes you can be jealous or not even jealous you can just kind of like envy where somebody's in a situation that you wish you were in, but you don't always see the challenges that come along with it. And so sometimes we have to take a step back, look at the bigger picture to really see um, that every situation has its challenges, good or bad. Um, and you're never gonna not go through a challenge. Like we're always growing, we're always learning. Um, and so every situation comes with its own 
its own situation it, or every situation comes with its own challenges um, and then we have balance I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment and then we have take time to breathe out so this is again accepting this is accepting um, this is releasing judgment from people releasing judgment from yourself releasing judgment from um, just your life and allowing again that flow that balance right that that alchemy and I feel like you kind of need to just like maybe take a rest there may be time that you have to kind of just take for yourself to allow yourself to kind of be a little bit more grounded and centered let's see let's see where the tarot takes us so what do we have for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising for November 2020. Gemini. So underneath we have nine of cups with the ace of pentacles, hermit, wow, chariot, and then we have the sun, the devil, the five of or sorry not the five the hierophant <laughs> it is a five but <laughs> uh we have the knight of swords we have justice ten of wands six of cups page of pentacles and the five of wands So there's something here that I feel is coming in some, some sort of new thing. This is uh, the overall energy here. So it's, there's something new coming in here that's going to make you quite happy. Um, and I feel like you, with the hermit, it's like you've done the inner work and you're ready to move forward here. You've done the inner work, ready to move forward. Um, So good things I feel are coming. I feel like it's just a process of working through that. You could maybe still be in a little bit of like almost like a hermit mode. So this top row is pretty intense. We've got the sun, we've got the devil, uh, and then we've got the hierophant. So, sorry, those are my dogs barking uh, upstairs. <laughs> It's the morning time, so they're a little bit, a little bit frisky here. So we have the sun, with the devil. So this is, the sun is acceptance. The sun, sun is pure happiness, pure joy. Um, and the devil is something that holds you back. Holds you back from good things. It's deceiving, right? Um, and the devil hides in plain sight. So that's where looking at the bigger picture is super, super important here. Um, and I feel like possibly with this hierophant with the balance here, it's like taking time to figure out what's important to you. What do you believe in? Um, yeah, what's important? What do you believe in? How are you going back to your roots? right? 
I feel like you need to release this. Obviously, this devil energy will clarify what it is, but it's right in the middle. It's right in between the sun and the hierophant. It's right in between um, you accepting and coming into a balanced state here. So then we have the Knight of Swords, Justice, Ten of Wands. So Justice is being brought in here quite quickly in a situation. It's allowing you... There could be some resistance around this balance balancing out you could be resisting a little bit but i also see it as um something can finally end you can finally put the burden down you can finally rest uh, and i feel like it's happening quite quickly but you could be trying to move away from balance as you so if you look at these cards the way they're positioned the knight of swords and the Ten of Wands are facing away from the Justice card, the, the girl in the middle there. They're moving away. It's like they're trying to avoid justice. So you could be trying to avoid coming into balance with yourself. Or this, this toxic energy is still kind of lingering, so it's holding you back from being able to reach it. And we have the Six of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Um, so... There's some sort of challenge here with the five of wands, something new. It's like you're struggling to move towards this new thing that makes you happy. This is like the beginning stages of it, right? Six of pentacles or sorry, six of cups and page of pentacles. This is the, the new thing being offered to you, but it's like you're struggling, you're struggling with it for some reason here. So let's clarify. Try the cards on the table for a Gemini. Okay, so sun. What do we have for the sun here? You can clarify the sun, please. Clarify the sun, please. Four of Swords. With the Magician at the bottom. So I feel like you're, you are manifesting your happiness. Again, you're kind of taking this time out. You're possibly still in that hermit mode energy. Um, yeah, I feel like you are, you're still trying to figure it out. You're not really, it's like you don't have your happiness yet, right? I feel like you're trying to find it with the four of swords and the magician. You're trying to create it. Um... Okay, so clarify the devil here, please. Strength and the seven of wands. So this is straight up hardcore resistance. <laughs> um, and I think this is you holding yourself back. Resisting letting go. Um, it's like you're holding on too much. Uh, what do we have at the bottom? The Fool. Yeah, you're resisting this new beginning here. You're resisting that. You're blocking yourself from it because you're, you're staying in this like toxic energy here. Sorry. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're just stuck in that energy there. Whereas what you really need to do is, is take that leap of faith and move forward, right? Because I feel like it's going to work out in your favor, right? The chariot's a card of victory here. So let's clarify the Hierophant, please. Can you clarify the Hierophant? OK. 
Okay. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom with, we've got the Five of Cups and the Four of Cups both fell out here. This is, um, you're definitely focused on something that didn't work out. Something that upset you, something that kind of bummed you out, didn't work out. And I feel like there's some, again, change, right? We've got the Hierophant, which is a five, and the Five of Cups. Some sort of change that needs to happen, but I feel like the universe is trying to bring you something. Somebody's trying to offer you something here, and I don't think you're seeing it because you're so focused. You're so focused. Both of these cups, or both of these cards, are focused on the Three of Cups in front of them, right? And so I don't know if you're fully seeing it. I feel like somebody's trying to help you out here, and I kind of feel like it's the universe is trying to show you. That something, something new is coming in. It's coming in slowly, but I feel like it's coming slowly. Something new. <laughs> it's coming in slowly because you're not paying attention to it. It is coming in though, right? There's a page of pentacles down here. It is coming in. So there's something that I feel like you need to take time to balance yourself out here and just kind of like recenter yourself so that you can actually see the messages that are trying to come through right because pages are messengers too um knight of swords let's clarify this knight of swords please knight of swords so we have temperance king of pentacles and the two of wands Queen of Cups at the bottom here. So there's there's a person I feel that's coming into your life. This King of Pentacles is coming into your life. Again, this could be anybody. This could be love. This could be a boss. This could be a job. Um, I feel like it's it, they're coming in. And again, I feel like it's going to assist in this like alchemy, right? It's gonna assist in like you being in the flow of temperance. I feel like there is a bit of patience needed as well because of the Knight of Swords. It's like you're wanting to rush towards this person, but there needs to be some patience. Um, you maybe need to think about your decision here, make sure this is the right choice. I feel like if you are <clears throat> if you are currently not balanced, it's not always the best time to make big decisions. So you, you the cards could be saying you need to kind of balance yourself out here before um, moving forward. Just have some patience here. I feel like it's gonna work out. It's just um, tell me the about the justice card, please. Six of Cups, the world. There's some sort of closure, some sort of balance, something, some um, wrongs are being righted here. This could be a past person coming to speak to you, wanting to kind of come back around. <clears throat> I feel like. I feel like the old chapter that you were in is over with the world here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like that's over. I'm just not sure if... I'm not sure what this person's... We'll clarify because we have the Six of Cups down here, so we'll kind of see. I'm not sure if they're offering you something new and you've moved on, or what's happening here? So, um, ten of Wands, let's clarify this Ten of Wands, please. The Moon, Six of Pentacles, 
eight of, one, eight of cups at the bottom. Um, I feel like there was possibly some illusion around a situation here. Like something seemed balanced, but it wasn't. It was, it was more of a burden than it was anything good. Um, I feel like you thought it was good though. The moon, there's some sort of like illusions um, about, it's like you thought it was balanced, but really you're just being breadcrumbs. Like you thought it was a good thing and then it really, it, it didn't really work out the way you thought. And I feel like you're, again, yeah, you're, oh yeah. You are moving on to your happiness. Moving on to happiness. So, yeah, you're you're moving again. That ten of wands, something's ending here. When we have the world, I almost feel like it's ending with a past person. But they might want to come back around and offer you things. So let's see, what is this six of cups? Clarify the six of cups, please. Six of Cups. Four of Pentacles with the Death. Yeah, someone's possibly wanting to come back around. The other person's not budging. Something's ending here. We have the Death card at the bottom of the deck. Something's coming to an end here. And someone's either resisting that ending, someone's not wanting that ending, which could be why there's conflict. One person wants to, to, to end things or to change things, and the other person the other person does not. Let's clarify this page of pentacles, please. Page of pentacles. Yeah, you're moving away. Moving away from this Page of Pentacles. Somebody's moving on. Yeah, Page of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. This person's trying to come in and send you a message, but I just don't think that you... You're kind of resisting it. I almost feel like Possibly this person's trying to come in and make something right, and it's not what you want. You want something new, something that's going to make you happy. Five of Wands. And again, this could be a person, a place, a thing, a job, whatever. However it resonates for you, take it as that, okay? Um... I do see that there is a person though, just because we have the, the King of Pentacles. And when we had that, we had the Queen of Pentacles, at, or the Queen of uh, Cups, sorry, at the bottom. So it kind of seems like it's between you and another person. Again, whatever that situation may be, could just be somebody that you know, a friend, uh, a friend, a family member, a work, a colleague. Let's clarify this Five of Wands, please. Five of Wands, please clarify this. Five of Wands. Five of Wands. So Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups. Magician at the bottom here. So I almost feel like there's conflict because one person is saying they want this, they want this happily ever after, they want this like 10 of cups situation. The other person's like, I don't want this, I'm walking away. And I feel like, yeah, there's some, I think that there's conflict there. That or this person, you're, there's conflict because somebody's walking away to try and find their 10 of cups. They're trying, right? Cause eight of cups, you're walking away cause you're not fulfilled. This is fulfillment. 
right? So there could be conflict there because one person's choosing to walk away. Um, there could be possibly even some sort of like manipulation in this situation here or someone's just trying to manifest. Oh yeah, manifest. Happy home, empress, right? That's growth. It's growth, growth, growth. So let's see what messages we have for Gemini from their higher self for you guys. Okay, messages for Gemini from their higher self. So the two of swords, four of cups. So not seeing this coming in. King of Swords. You're not seeing somebody, this situation, whatever is being presented or whoever's coming towards you. I feel like you're not seeing this happening. You're not, you're not. I feel like you're not focused on that. You don't see it coming in. Um. And I feel like there's a need with this King of Swords to kind of take charge of this situation, take authority. There could be somebody here that wants to come in and speak as well. And you don't see that coming. We have a Ten of Swords at the bottom. You could There could be an ending to something that you don't see coming as well. But on the other side of that, I feel like there's good things. I, again, I feel like there's something here with this Ace of Pentacles and this Nine of Cups. Like, someone knows that that's what they need to move towards. Someone knows that that's what they need to go towards is something new, something that's going to fulfill them, make them happy, right? Eight of Cups going out to find that Ninth Cup, right? That's first personal happiness before you can have happiness with others, right? You have to be happy and content within yourself, so... That is what I have for you, Gemini, uh, for November 2020. I will be doing um, monthly, mid-month readings for all signs, and then I'm going to be doing weekly readings, but for each element. Um, so make sure you check those out if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching, and um, enjoy November, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.